Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where today we're going to check out my Ipsy Glam Ultimate Box as well as an offer that I took part of for May. Ipsy has multi-tiered subscriptions so you can really spend what you want to spend and get some really amazing products. My pick has been the Ultimate but I gotta tell you if I had a job right now I would totally be getting the Glam Box as well. But if you're looking for just like a sample subscription, they do have that small $15 box as well. They all come with bags too. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into which offer I took part of. I wanted them. I don't know what else to say. I love SLS and this glam. And I got the beautiful, beautiful set. It looks gold. It is so beautiful. Not only that, but the brushes are gray. I will want to keep this just to display. Like, I think it's just too pretty. <laughs> so I have ordered a brush holder from, uh, no, Shein. And when I get it, I'm gonna kind of glam it up a little bit, do some jewels, do some cricketing, and really make it my own. And I thought that these would just look so beautiful in that case. These actually were priced really, really well too for her uh, brushes. It is the Gold Glam Party Set. So you've got six brushes in here. I thought it was five. There's six brushes in here. You just cannot beat her. Brushes are freaking beautiful. They work perfectly. They're some of my favorite brushes. And like I said, I just wanted to display these. I think they're gorgeous. Although, I don't know. I have really good brush cleaner now, so I may have to use them first. Now let's go ahead and move into my ultimate box for this month because it is jam-packed and I gotta say I played a little bit in the $3 add-on section so bear with me here. Plus this one should have a ton of our um, rewards that we got to you because they didn't come in the last box. I'm guessing that they're in here. Um, so this month is all about getting that glow. So this card tells you all about how to get a really good glow when you're doing your complexion. So that's really nice to have. I mean, this is how I've learned so much about um, makeup anyways. It's through my subscription. So that'll be really cool to read later when I'm bored and in the house bored. The first thing that we always check out in an MC unboxing is the bag. So. <sighs> I just pulled out the tassel. I didn't even know I had a tassel. Oh, it's pink. It looks like, I don't know, like some kind of margarita sunset drink is what I think of. Um, but the inside is yellow but golden flaked. And then you've got this really nice size pocket on this side. And it's fairly big. It's not quite as big as some of the other like train cases and stuff that we've gotten. But it's fairly big. Mine has tape on it. Anyways. Super, super cute and pretty. I'll go ahead and put my goodies in here as we go along until it's at maximum capacity. So the first thing that is on my list, and I'm just gonna go straight down because this will be nice and easy. And I thought this sounds amazing. It's by Derma Medicine, Advanced Skin Care. It's a weightless face moisturizer with SPF of 25. It has sage leaf, grape stem cells, green tea, and vitamin E. And then, just to see if there's any more information about it while I open her up because it looks like she is well protected. I love trying new skincare. However, I feel like my skin's like, whoa, Karen, slow down. <laughs> like, I think I've been doing too many like pills and exfoliating because my skin over here is like really tender and a little bit dry. Um, but it says, hands down, the most important step in any skincare routine is daily sunscreen. Get your fix in with this moisturizing SPF 25 lotion. All natural formula. The grape stem cells are ultimate all natural anti-ager. They help brighten your skin, smooth your texture. That's what I've got going on right here is a little bit of texture and a little bit of dryness. So I think that will really help. Let's go ahead and give her a shot. See how thicky thicky she is. Just looking at it, looks thick. Looks like a little goes a long way. It just smells clean. It doesn't have really an overpowering smell, but I do smell a little bit. Just like cleanliness. I don't know. <laughs> clean as a smell. Anyways, I think that will be really cool to try. The next thing that's in here is a perfume. Perfume, perfume. And it is the She Was an Anomaly perfume by uh, Et Libre de Orange. 
we're gonna read a little bit more about that because I'm not good at describing scents at all. They do give us a discount code in here as well, but it says, we know switching up your everyday fragrance can be scary, but the super fresh scent is sure to become your go-to. It's a nice size bottle. I mean, it's not like an itty bitty little tiny sample. It's really nice. It says unique scent of the fully unexpected contrasts. It's the perfect perfume for anyone who wants to stand out. It has floral notes, but then it also has those woody notes too. Hmm. I already have perfume on, so. That is a little confusing of a scent. It does smell floral and woodsy, equal parts. That is so odd. Like, I'm just gonna have to like, live in this for a second. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to deal with this for today and see what I think about it. But it's just, it is weird. It's a weird kind of scent. It's not bad, not a bad weird, just weird. The next thing that's in here is a water jam cleansing gel balm by The Beautiful Factor. Oh, okay, wow, this is a huge bottle. Um, it is 150 milliliters or 5.07 ounces, and it says make a date with this cleanser at the end of every day. It's the easiest way to melt away makeup, dirt, and oil before bed supposed to be ultra soothing and nourishing and really great for irritated skin hey hey balancing probiotics support your skin's moisture barrier to leave your face clean but not stripped I love that never tested on animals and it's made with 94% natural ingredients so hey, hey I mean that's quite a bit that's a good size amount of cleanser I am just so like confused and I really want to try this just to see. Oh, there's the thingy on it. I'm going to leave that on it because I already have some cleansers that I need to try. So I'm going to leave that on it for now, but we'll definitely be checking that out really, really soon. As soon as I can get through the other ones that I have and I will let you guys know as soon as I do. What I think about it. Retails for $18. I don't know if I've told, I don't think I've told you any of the other uh, retail values. So I'm sorry about that. Let's see, obviously the bag, we don't know. The moisturizer retails for $60. And then the sample, we're not gonna know. But the next thing that's in here is by IBY Beauty, which I actually really like IBY Beauty, especially their highlighters, which this is. It is their Radiant Glow Highlighter in Prosecco. They give us a discount for 25% off on here too. And it says, this finely milled apric apricot <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Apricot Peach Highlighter instantly pops your favorite features to create a radiant complexion. Uh, weighing in at three grams, I guess this is considered a sample size. Cruelty free, free of talc, parabens, sulfates, phosphates, all those bad fates. Ooh, that is pretty. She reminds me of Tarte Stunner. Oh, oh my God, I love that. <laughs> Look like I've been making out with a tin man. Really though, it's very pretty and it feels really cre creamy like I could feel it gliding off of my finger. Now I'm just trying to blend it in. So I don't look crazy. I always end up playing in my makeup. I love that and if you guys don't know, I try makeup out on Saturdays around noon Eastern Standard Time with you guys. It gives me some girl time and I just absolutely love it. Plus it's fun for us to try all this makeup out that I get in my beauty boxes and on the occasional trip to TJ Maxx or Bargain Hunt or Target or Walmart or Kroger or Dollar General. Basically everywhere but the liquor store. Okay, this I gotta say I'm really excited about. Um, this is by Araceli Beauty, if I say that correctly. Um, Ojos Perfectos. Maybe it's Ojos. I don't know. Perfecting Liquid Eyeliner Duo in Night and Noche. Night, Noche, and just kidding. Coffee Cafe. Basically, it's a black and a brown liquid eyeliner. I have been wanting to get some brown liquid eyeliner, so this is really, really cool. And oh my gosh, 
It's like a paintbrush, but it's felt tip. Holy cow, these are gonna be stunning to try, and I love that brown. It says these retail for $32, and it has a precise felt tip that glides on your lid smoothly with no tugging and deposits a richly pigmented color. I would totally agree. A pen like design gives you lots of control where you apply your liner, which means less mishaps and more time for flaunting your gorgeous eye looks. I cannot wait, especially with that brown. I will probably most definitely use the brown first because I'm really excited about that. I don't have a lot of brown. I don't think I have any brown eyeliners, which is kind of wrong. I have blue eyes, like brown looks really good with blue. Anyways, the next thing in here, I feel like I have multiple of these now. Um, I feel like everybody's pushing a Murad eye cream on me, which I'm totally okay with because they are really good eye creams. Um, but I feel like I have this one already, so I'm not gonna like try and use it, but I will show you guys what it looks like and tell you a little bit about it. So basically it's supposed to help um, tired, puffy looking eyes. It's a hydrating eye treatment that helps brighten, <laughs> minimize fine lines, the struggles I have with these boxes, you guys. It is so real. And help reduce puffiness in one step. Has a mix of peptides and retinols with this lightweight cream. This retails for $82. I think this is a full size. Um, and it's supposed to help Eliminate your under eye area and reduce dark so circles. Circles while also improving skin's elasticity and smoothing your skin. I lost the cap on it, but here's what it looks like. So it's got one of those pumps that absolutely utilizes all the product. I love that. So I'm just gonna tuck this away with my skincare goodies because I have quite a few of them. But I'm pretty sure I used it before and I really did see a difference in my under eyes. So I'm excited to have that again. The next thing that is on here is a Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. I love things like this. Thank you. Um, and it reminds me of like the old, the old Smackers days. I'm just going to put a little bit here. Oh, it smells so good. It kind of does smell like Smackers. It says, can't decide between a lip balm or a lip gloss. Swipe on this hybrid oil and you won't have to. It has jojoba oils as well as avocado oils. And it says it's not sticky. I would say it's a little bit sticky. I can't wait to try that. Um, when I take my makeup off today, I'll probably go ahead and put that on. Okay, I hate it when eyeliner is a pain in the butt to get off with makeup, something that is meant to remove your makeup. It didn't come off, it didn't budge when I rubbed it with my hand but came off with a makeup remover wipe. So I'm not worried about using th that eyeliner and my extensions, like having my extensions on. It doesn't give me a retail price for that, so we're gonna keep on moving. The next thing that is in here is a hand and body lotion in sweet orange and Elemy. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, it's a glow getter your skin has been craving. It's a hydrating lotion that smells amazing and you'll actually want to apply it every single day. I will say that I have a lot of lotion, but I'm not really good at like always putting lotion on. I feel like I skipped that step way more than I should with somebody who has eczema. How do you get it out? Because the bottle's too hard to like squeeze. Just give us a tube. All right, we're just gonna cheat. I need a Q-tip to get that out with. I mean, it smells pretty good. It does feel really nice on my hands. That actually had a minute. I was saying about it, Chris, that I actually had a minute to kind of soak in and everything. It feels really, really good. Not sticky at all. So I'll definitely be using that, but I feel like I'm gonna have to stick a Q-tip in it to like dip out what I actually wanna get out. Um, it was really hard to get out like that. So anyways, there's no retail value on that either because that's one of our smaller sizes. Okay, now something a little bit more exciting. How about a full size palette? Yeah, man. It is by Laura Geller. It is so pretty. So it is the Urban Garden Palette in Central Park. So there must be different kind of parks on her collection. You know what I mean? With different shades. You, you know what I mean? It retails for $14, which is actually really well priced for Laura Geller, I think. It says the smooth powders are infused with protective vitamin E and nourishing grapeseed oil to treat your skin at the same time. 
They don't have any drying alcohol fragrance nanoparticles. I didn't know that was a thing. That sounds like something off of Stargate Atlantis. Soy and sulfates, free of all of that stuff. It says among all of the concrete and skyscrapers of New York City are secret gardens, blooming rooftops, and iconic parks. It is those hidden gems that inspired this face palette. So it's a face, oh, it's a face, eye, and cheek palette. So it's like a do everything. Let's see what the shades look like. Okay, inner packaging looks just like the outer packaging, has that kind of like matte feel to it. And then inside, so it looks like we have a highlighter, but it also looks like it could be a little bit, um, you could use that in the areas that you bronze as well because it's really dark. And then you've got kind of a corally um, blush as well as four shadows, three of which are matte and one is shimmery. Hello. When I got a Laura Geller palette before, I felt like it wasn't very creamy it was kind of dry although i did get it from tj maxx so maybe that's why but these feel amazing i gotta see this highlighter okay actually it looks more like golden champagne on than it does in the pan now granted we still have one more shadow to swatch but i'm out of fingers um and it's really just white but oh my gosh those are beautiful i can't wait to use this palette because those aren't traditional shade well i guess it is kind of <laughs> It is kind of like my normal jam except for maybe this one. I feel like I would use that on the lid as well as a highlighter. I mean it just looks really pretty. I keep putting highlighter on. I need to stop. Just... <laughs> okay that's too much. I know. Um, and the palette only retails for $14 so it's a really affordable face palette too. Um, when you think about the fact that you can do your eyes, your blush, your highlighter. And that Y shade's really good for highlighting underneath the brow bone as well. So this is gonna be really, really fun to try out. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to another product. I feel like I've like kept you guys forever. The next thing, when I got my box to check and make sure that everything was okay, I had to pull this out and look at it because it looks like it would be my shade. It definitely is. So this is by Sugar Rush, which I believe is yeah they're from Tarte like their sister company for Tarte um, and I feel like they're doing more makeup now now that they uh, came out with Tarte I guess or started working more hand in hand with Tarte um, so this is one of their liquid lipsticks it's a mauve color that drives down to a comfy matte finish that never cakes or cracks a combo of nourishing sunflower seed and rosehip oils work to smooth got that matte finish too. A combo of nourishing sunflower seed and rosehip oils work to smooth rough texture and plump lip lines for a plush pillowy finish. You only need one quick swipe of this liquid lipstick to get full covered finish. It's that pigmented. It retails for $15. I want to put it on because <laughs> she is pretty. So her shade is Cupcake. Oh my god. Yeah, I can get down with that. I'm trying to do it without a mirror. It does feel, it almost feels like a cream lipstick. I mean, she said it was gonna, <laughs> she <laughs> said, it, they said it was gonna dry down, so we'll see what it does, but it feels really creamy right now, like a cream lipstick would. I think that is so cool. I'm really excited to start trying more things from Sugar Rush too. The next thing that's in here is a peel off mask, which um, I've been using on occasion, but does anybody else feel like it's part torture when you take off a peel off mask? Because I do. Um, but this one is a pore clear black charcoal peel off mask by Pure Heels. It retails for $26 and we got a nice big full size in here. I'm not going to open it because I do have quite a few pill off masks that I'm currently working on. A Wonder Beauty, a Hey Honey one, um, both of which I really like. If I had to choose one over the other one of those, since I never tell you guys about this stuff, I would say the Hey Honey one is, it's, I like it more than the Wonder Beauty. It smells better, honestly. Other than that, I don't really see a difference between the two. So I'll be excited to try this, but my skincare line, it's kind of backed up. So it might be a while. This is cool. This is by St. Tropica. It is the Beach Goddess Hot Oil Hair Mask. This is the item I picked. It's solid as a rock. Like you have to heat it up in the microwave for 30 seconds before 
Wait. Well, you put it in a mug and heat that up in the microwave 30 seconds before even using it. But I'm excited to try this. I might wait um, to do anything like that because I have my hand tight extensions in right now. I might wait until a time when I decide I don't want them in for a little while. Um, and it's sealed, so it's perfectly fine. I can definitely do that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stash this one away for now. I just have a few hair masks like today I used the Olaplex 3 which I absolutely love. My hair feels so good that I decided to go straight with it. So anyways, I love that. This bad boy retails for $17.50 so it's not that bad. It says coconut oil which happens to be the MVP of masks is a miracle ingredient your hair needs this summer. A weekly date with this treatment helps prevent breakage to make your hair grow stronger, grow longer, and grow thicker. Strands feeling thirsty, coconut oil delivers serious hydration and nourishment. Once you rinse your hair, you'll look and feel softer, shinier, silkier, trust. Now, I want to do my own research because I have heard that coconut oil is not really all that great for your hair or your skin and it clogs up your pores and it, it's just not great. Like, it's a lot of residue that I guess the molecules are too big to fit into the hair or something like that. I need to do more research before I actually try this out. If I decide I don't want to keep it, I will put it up in my Poshmark. Um, I just kind of had like a moment there where I remembered like hearing that and really needing to like get into it because coconut oil and hair is something that I learned the last couple of years and now I'm starting to think I don't know. Okay, we are to my add-ons now. So I'm going to start with the one that I was most excited about and that one of you guys said you got too. I believe it was Jessica. Um, it is the Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I got mine in light medium. $3 sample, so it's supposed to help brighten your skin tone, shrink your pores, smooth out fine lines, and you know, cover all your imperfections. It says it, it gives a dewy finish and it's supposed to help your makeup from settling into your fine lines because it's got hyaluronic acid. Plant and fruit extracts give your skin its daily dose of vitamins for a healthier, glowier complexion. Medium to full coverage pigments hide everything from redness to dark spots without feeling heavy or cakey. The girl that got this in her Ipsy used it and has already bought a full size, so this I may just go ahead and try out and our next get ready with me. I'm starting to lose my voice. I don't know what happened there. My like routine here is go through the product straight down the line so I can see what I added on, what I got, um, whether it was an item that I picked, and then I'll know what things I got for free. All right, the next thing that is in here, <laughs> as I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, I love SLS Miss Glam. I love her brushes, and then for cute little twins, and I got another one of her brushes I added on for $3. Uh, you can't beat her brushes. Plus, they're absolutely stunning. Ooh, they match my nails today. So, I love it. I added it on. This is the SS57 brush. Retails for $18.50, but I got it for $3 inside my Ipsy Glam as an add-on. So that is really cool. It's made with a plastic handle and synthetic bristles that are pro quality and 100% cruelty free too. Stephanie Lewis is just the sweetest thing ever. And like I said, she has the cutest two little twins. So I'll, like, I'll back anything that chick does. I love watching her stories. I'm pretty sure she's a Disney princess that came to real life um, and is like living her best life. Uh, the next thing that's in here that I added on is a lip scrub from Naked Cosmetics. I'm not going to go ahead and open this because I do have a lip scrub upstairs, but it's almost gone. So I should be able to tell you guys in the description box what I think about this because it says it's vanilla cream. Okay, I'm going to open it. <laughs> I am the weak. I'm going to attempt to open it. We'll put it that way. It retails for $9.99. I got it for $3. Um, oh my god, yes. Okay, and that looks creamy too. It doesn't just look like a bunch of sugar. That is really, really cool. It says that it is packed with nourishing oils, vitamin E to keep your lips hydrated, protected while creating a flake-free base for your favorite lip colors. It's soothing, it won't leave your lips irritated. And it says it's got that irresistible vanilla flavor so that it's nice to use as well. And then the last add-on, yes I know, that was one, two, three, four add-ons. But they were all $3, so for $12 I got these four products. This is by Tarte, it is the H2O Gloss 
in below deck. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. It's actually got a lot of shimmer on in it. Mm. But it looks really pretty over our lip color. Okay. I love the way these H2O glosses feel. I have another one, but I can't remember the name of it. They just feel so soothing and smooth. They've got really nice ingredients. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving on. Now we are to my freebies. All the stuff that I got for free because you guys signed up using my link. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna start with this brush. You guys know SLS Miss Glam and Luxie Baby. So I got the 640 Pro Precision Tapered. I thought this would be actually really nice if I'm trying to go light with a bronzer or for a highlighter brush because the ones that I've been using are kind of small. So, I mean, it feels amazing as usual. Um, and I didn't spend any money on these. No money on that whatsoever. The next thing that I spend no money on whatsoever is by Sestmo Moy. I don't know. It says Reflect Lip Gloss, and I got mine in, this sh in the color Opulence. I think this is just a shiny lip gloss if I remember correctly. No! <laughs> it actually reminds me of an Ofra lip gloss that I've seen before. Even the packaging kind of looks a little bit like Ofra. I mean, it's got silver diamonds on it, but that's just a really pretty, you're not really getting any pigment out of it, but you are getting a little bit of that shimmer. Nothing too crazy. But it looks really nice. Let's see if it... It does not have a smell to it. I always have to sniff things. I don't know why. And then another one of my add-ons. I love the Hey Honey brand too. Uh, this is the Relax Propolis and Honey Soothing Moisturizer. It's supposed to calm redness and upset skin. So that'll be nice when I wake up and I'm like, what did you do to your face last night? Um, this will be nice to keep in like my primers drawer so that I can keep the redness down. So we'll go ahead and keep that down there. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I'll put it in my get ready with me box. We'll use it like that because I think, uh, I'll just use it on a day where I'm getting ready with you guys and I'm red and then I'll use it after that. You think that'd be it? No, no. I got this by Mind Tan. It is their gradual tan color extender. So it's an untinted daily moisturizer with a touch of tan, built or build or extend a natural golden glow. So I thought that this would be nice for me to use in between tanning sessions, like the day after I tan, a couple days after I tan, three days after I tan, until I start to notice my tan fade and I kind of want it to go away so I can put on a fresh coat. I thought this would be really nice. And I'm, tr I'm gonna try to wait until I actually use my mind tan tan if that makes sense like my mind tan tan you know other than my other tan brands that's i don't know and then the very last thing that i got for free again thank you guys is by colored rain i don't think i've tried any of their products before this is an eyeshadow in the shade champagne life <laughs> so i couldn't say no to it i hope i don't always <laughs> i hope i don't already have this one because now i'm looking at it the packaging kind of looks familiar but anyways should I wait until I swatch it so I check I should check all right this was bound to happen <laughs> it was bound to happen one day I already own it so what I'm gonna do instead of stocking it up in back stock is I'm gonna put it back in the box and I'm gonna gift it to one of you guys in my next um my size not my size giveaway that we will probably do when I get to holy cow <laughs> 4k which I can't even believe we're close to but we are but I'll go ahead and swatch this for you guys really really quick so you guys can see what you have a chance of winning someday soon she's gorgeous I mean like just the most beautiful champagne color all right my love so it is very crammed in there very very quickly but this is everything that I got in my Ipsy Glam ultimate Thank you guys so, so much for joining me today and for watching all the stuff that I got in my Ipsy box. You guys are amazing. You're really great friends. And I love that we get to chat and talk about all the makeup and skincare that I got. Um, I will try to keep you updated as I use these products, like I said. And I don't know. Just thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future giveaways. Yes, I do. Quite a few.
And if you want to check out Ipsy for yourself, my link is down below. It almost always gets you something for free and hooks me up with some points to get some freebies too, so thank you in advance. And really quick before I leave, one of the things that I love doing on my channel is saying hello to my new girls. So hello to Stephanie, Shahan, Emily, Hurt, and Kara here. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it so much. And I guess that's it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go, but you know me, I won't be gone long. So I'll see you guys very, very soon. Till then, bye.